Hi friends, I am Vishti and today I am going to Ritu Aunty to ask so many questions about parents and our relationship. So you know, I am sure that she will give me the correct guidance and I am excited. So let's see what happens. Hi friends, today we have Dishti with us who has so many questions about parenting, nagging parents. So let's see what she has to say. Yeah Dishti, hi. hi. So, you know, my main and first question is that I am very upset that my parents, my mother, she keeps nagging and pinpointing all my mistakes, my shortcomings. So, you know, it irritates me a lot. So Yeah, I understand. I think yeah. she's not your enemy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, she's not. See, parents are always your well-wishers. They always want to do best for you. You know, so they have their own experiences of life in terms of education, in terms of friends, in terms of, you know, maybe cheatings, what happened to them. So based on those experiences, they guide you. But you feel you are being nagged or you are being restricted from doing something. Uh, you know, I uh, met a friend who, uh, like when he was very young, he was always used to say, my father is really, you know, he's very, not really understanding. And, uh, you know, he doesn't understand this, my problem, this, that. And after 10 years, he started saying, maybe uh, my father, you know, said this because of this. And after another 10 years, he started saying, oh, my father, I wonder from where did he uh, got this uh, intelligence, you know, and he really um, could understand much before so uh, you know it's uh, very difficult at this stage to really understand that why parents are doing so but just you have to trust that they are your well wisher you know so whatever they are saying that is for your good yes you can have dialogue with them you can discuss you know uh, your problem so then only they will trust and respect then only you will understand their viewpoint yeah and also i feel that whenever i go and tell something mm -hmm. that i have committed a mistake or you know i you know i have something some issue they don't trust me and they don't you know every time they scold me they have to mention that so how will i you know tell them my mistakes they don't trust me and yeah dishti i really understand it uh, you know, uh, in this I just say that uh, even, uh, you know, I used to tell my daughters that even if they commit murder, please come and tell me, you know, because parents are the only one who will protect you ultimately, you know, yes, they will react, you know, because initially they are also human beings and they also get very insecure about the situation, what happened and they might react, you know, that will be their first uh, reaction but ultimately they love you they care for you and they will always uh, always stand by you during that crisis so don't just because they scold you just don't hold yourself back by you know okay, I won't, don't want to tell because they will scold me yeah. and also you know I feel that they are very strict and they are very restricted about few things they don't wish to complete our, fulfill our demands Ki phone chahiye, kyun chahiye, ye chahiye, wo chahiye. You know, though I feel that at times that I wish they had much resources to you know fulfill all my demands. Yeah, and uh, uh, there are two things. Yeah. One is they don't want to fulfill their demands because they feel it's not a right time. Hmm? Uh, again, I'll tell you like for example, I have two daughters. Though I always told them that uh, till uh, you pass out twelfth you go into a professional college, please don't ask about mobile or a car because I feel it's quite distracting, you know. The children can't really concentrate. If all the time messages are coming, how will you study? You know, you want to reply back, isn't it? So one is that aspect. Another is affording something. Maybe you want really wonderful clothes or shoes, or, you know. Uh, then, uh, you know, uh, maybe they can't afford. But this day, I think even those children, those who have enough of everything, doesn't mean they are happy, you know. So why don't you really determine that you will do something in life and you will shine so much that you will bring prosperity in your house so that you can afford everything, you know, rather than just keep thinking my parents can't afford. So don't compare yourself with other children in terms of 
material possessions just compare yourself that how much more you are shining you know so just become the sun of the family as you and sun mm-hmm. and shine right yeah so you know i always wanted that i should develop such a friendly and nice bond with my mother but i was somewhere I, you know somehow i was not able to so i always want you know my mama should know everything about me and i should know everything about her that trust factor that yeah i think uh, um, both of you need to be more patient uh, you know and with lot of respect and trust you need to speak to each other about your issues yeah you know so that she also understands you and you also understand her you know so that will build in that kind of relationship you know so i always believe that either you agree or you make the other person agree you know yeah. so when you will only speak and understand and trust and respect are the main points you, you should have so when you are having dialogue with trust and respect only then either you can understand or you can make her understand and i'm sure if you really trust her you will build a very beautiful relationship with her yeah i'm sure i you know i'll work upon it thank yeah. you so much <laughs> please take care so friends this was dishti you know uh, she had so many questions i'm sure many of you have similar questions or maybe more so i request that if you have more questions please write in the comment section of youtube channel i will love to answer them thank you so much